And the aftermath of the train derailment continues to raise more questions and solutions seem to not be coming quick enough. Last night, residents of East Palestine tried to get answers from state and their local officials about the condition of their air and water at a town hall meeting. Today, it was the politicians' turn to visit the village to get answers of their own. U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown and J.D. Vance made separate stops at the derailment site. That's on top of the state and federal politicians from Ohio and neighboring Pennsylvania and West Virginia have all weighed in on the situation. Well, it's good to raise awareness to the situation of the Eastern Ohio Village. A political expert says they need to be careful not to turn the disaster into a political issue. We're at a very polarized time, and, and right now, you know, this is not a political issue in the sense that it's Democrats versus Republicans. It really needs to be about the situation at hand. We need to look for some solutions there. Uh, I'd be a little bit leery of, of playing the blame game. I'd be looking for politicians that are looking for solutions, and I think that that's the first and, and, and number one thing that, that we all ought to be looking at at this point. Alexander says the public and the residents of East Palestine need to continue to inform themselves and contact their politicians, state, national, and local to get something changed so that this doesn't happen again. One thing that we can also do is demand investigation, um, demand oversight. We should be looking for ways that, you know, it was an accident, but how do we work to prevent future accidents from happening? Governor Mike DeWine spoke to the White House this morning as requested ground assistance from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the CDC.